Good morning and welcome to Green TV for March 15, 2012. To my left is Logan Burgess and I'm Brock Shimbino. Today is Thursday, so that gives us the USDA's weekly export sales report. Logan, what were the numbers looking like this morning? Yeah, Brock, this morning we saw 836,000 metric tons of corn uh, reported in the export sales report. That was on the higher end of sales expectations. 600 to 850,000 metric tons is what the trade was looking for out of corn. Big buyer in the corn market of U.S. corn was Japan. Uh, purchasing over 300,000 metric tons, 610,000 uh, metric tons of soybeans put on the books. That was actually below trade expectations. Uh, not really a big story here, though. Coming in uh, roughly at the lower end expectations, 302,000 metric tons of wheat were put on the books here. Again, below trade expectations. Not really a big story here. We could see grains pull back a little bit, but really a lot of strength in the grain market in the overnight. I mean, we saw front month soybeans trade up 11 and a half cents. Out of news late yesterday after the markets had closed uh, out of Brazil. Can you take us through what we were seeing there? Yeah, after the markets closed yesterday, Agra Consult came out, a private forecaster for um, Brazil. Uh, they came out and actually reduced their production by 3 million metric tons down to 67.1 million metric tons. Informa, uh, most recently, has pegged it at 68 point or 68 million metric tons, and USDA has put it at 68.5. So this is even lower than what these two other analysts are thinking right now. Uh, this is pretty significant given the fact that Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay account for about half of the world's ex uh, soybean exports. Mm -hmm. So this is only going to add more support to a sharp rally in the soybeans market we've seen over the last few weeks. So yeah, Brock, soybeans really has been the leader to the upside, and you know, really for good reason. A out of Brazil, we're seeing on average 14% yield reduction for their soy soybean crop. In some areas, as bad as 50% reduction. So, you know, this has been a major reduction uh, in production out of Brazil here. AgroConsult is kind of setting the floor here for a further downgrade by the USDA. It will be important to keep your eye on that here as we move forward. Follow us at Grain TV on Twitter. That's where you can find us. We'll be tweeting as private analysts come out with their yield projections. Uh, that wraps up here the first half of the show. We'll come back and watch these markets trade live. The futures market has changed. Now, over 80% of trades in Chicago are electronically executed. It is now easier than ever to get live quotes and execute trades from your home or office. Grain Edge clients pay $7 commissions per side and use the same fire tip platform we use on Grain TV. Take a demo today to get started. Welcome back to Grain TV. The markets are open in Chicago, so let's flip over to our fire tip trading software for the live quotes. As you can see, corn is up nine and a quarter, soybeans up fifteen and a half, wheat up seventeen in Chicago, and Kansas City wheat up sixteen and three quarters. Wow, Brock! You know the grains really pushing higher today after a strong overnight session. Let's take a closer look here at these corn contracts. As you can see, corn up nine and a half cents here on the May contract. One of the great things about FireTip, though, if you're a producer out there, is the ability to not only see the spot, but all the deferred months here. Uh, take a look here. We're looking at out to May 2013, and you can see that that new crop contract really lagging behind the, uh, the, the uh, front month contract here. We see new crop only up 4.5 cents here, uh, possibly that 95.5 million acres that Inform is looking to get planted here this spring, uh, still weighing on that new crop contract. Another great feature of this uh, software is that not only can you view these, uh, these spreads, you can actually chart them out. Brock, can you take us through a July-December spread here? Yeah, basically what we're looking at is a July-December uh, corn spread. You can see that we've rallied pretty sharply in the last few sessions, all the way up to almost $0.96 cents premium on the July contract right now. I think there's a couple reasons why the July is uh, rallying in respect to the new crop. Uh, the old crop stocks look like they're going to be pretty tight as we head into those summer months, so that's going to push this front month higher, the July contract. Uh, the, the deferred contracts are being weighed heavily by those acreage prospects that we have going towards the end of the month here. Informa came out said 95.5 million. That's going to put pressure on, on the market. If we see the USDA peg it somewhere in the 94 to 95, I believe that we'll have a little bit of more downward pressure on the deferred contracts. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're a producer out there and you want to take a look at these live quotes, if you want to chart these spreads yourself, Give us a call. We'll set you up with a demo today. Also, you know, as private uh, estimates come out approaching March 30th here, we'll be tweeting all day as those come out. So follow us at Grain TV is where you can find us. I think that wraps up our show here for Thursday. Come back tomorrow for the weekly wrap-up.